KX Sports with Joey Lamar. Let's start with college baseball. Today, Bismarck State College announced who will lead the program this spring. Michael Keyrig was named the head coach. Keyrig was an assistant coach at Valley City before he was hired. And he helped coach Valley City to the North Star Tournament Championship game. Coaching collegiate programs as an assistant, and then uh, I think the success I had in the summer being a head coach is making me feel like I'm ready. But also, I've had some really good head coaches that I've worked for that have helped prep me for uh, this moment, I think, and this opportunity. Kieran's only previous experience as a manager was this summer for the Bancroft Bandits, where he led the team to a Pioneer League championship with a record of 33 and 5. Now we go to college hockey, where the University of Mary is having another fantastic year. But this year is different because the Marauders have something to play for. Last year, U Mary finished the season with 39 wins and they were ranked number one in the West region. However, because they were a first year program, they were not eligible to play for a conference tournament championship or advance to the national tournament. This season, U Mary is 27 and 6 and ranked number one in the nation. And the players say this year feels different because they have something to play for. We knew the plan was going to be a two-year program to start, and it was something that last year we had a lot of drive just to try and prove that we were a team that was worth playing here. And then this year we're letting them know that we're not going to let them kick us around. This weekend, U Mary has four games in the Colorado Showcase. In girls high school hockey, Mandan is performing well under first-year head coach Ben Hertz. The first-year head coach said he took the job because he wanted to provide some stability to the Mandan program. Over the last three seasons, the team has had three new head coaches. Coach Hurst lives and works in Mandan, so he hopes to be around for a long time. Right now, Mandan is five and six, and they are tied for fourth with 18 points. And the state would have it, one of the teams they are tied with, Bismarck High, is who they face tonight. You can see what long-term coaching does for programs across the state, and I think we have a chance to impact uh, the girls program here in Mandan. The game against Bismarck High will be at home. That starts at 7.30. It's at the Starian Sports Complex. In girls high school basketball, yesterday, the Legacy Sabres pulled off the biggest upset so far in the state. Legacy defended their home court with a 58-47 win over Century. The win for Legacy snapped Century's 42-game winning streak. The Sabres record now sits at 10-0 in the WDA and 11-0 overall. This year, the team has really received a spark from Jaden Baker, who came over from Mandan. This season, she is second on the team with 12 points a game, and she leads the team with six and a half rebounds per game and three steals per game. We saw our potential, but now that we're actually in practice, we see it happening, and it just makes, like, makes it a lot better, and it just seems better than, it, than I expected it to be. Legacy next game is Tuesday at Bismarck High. Thanks so much. Coming up, we'll tell you how you can score a dollar off your beer, and all you have to do is bet on the snow. <laughs> Plus, we'll wrap things up with one.